What's up everybody? Gamer Greg here bringing you guys a special video. But before we start the video, I'd like to introduce the one, the only, Geo. Glad to be here. Are you really glad to be here? You don't seem very glad. Speaking Tired, long day. Glad to be here. I'm talking it out. Somebody's got to do it. All right. So, in front of us we have a box. But before we get into that box, I'd like to talk a little bit about Nintendo. So, um, Geo. Both Geo and I are both avid gamers. We've gamed a long time throughout our lives. What, uh, what all Nintendo systems have you owned? Pretty much had them all since, uh, I guess my first was a SNES when I was, I don't even know, probably that's probably 19... 92, I was probably four years old then. Um, upgraded to the Super Nintendo, then the Game Boy. Um, are we talking strictly Nintendo? Yeah, yeah this is going to be Nintendo also, focused. <clears throat> also, I've owned a Nintendo 64 where I was the Czar of Goldeneye. Also, um, the Wii, still not yet to lose. In, uh, Wii Sports, Bowling, or Tennis. Um, what else from there? Uh, I, did I say Game Boy? I had a Game Boy. Um, I have a Game Boy. Um, oh, shit. Go ahead. Pull out your Game Boy. He's got another Nintendo system here right now. The old school Game Boy Color. Man, I think it's ancient. What are you playing on that right now? Better than that. All right. Man, you are a true Nintendo nerd. I, lo I love it. Hard to find these days. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Uh, <clears throat> I'd say, say I'm more of a blue man, because uh, I like the Magmar, which you can't find in the red. Okay. I like it. Um. I don't know, I guess that's it for Nintendo, I think. So, what's your, what is like your most cherished, do you have like a cherished Nintendo memory or like a Nintendo game <clears> that you played that like really stuck with you? Playing Super, on it. my mom used to play a lot actually, I, I remember, pl my first memories, probably some of the best are, I remember my mom and dad actually playing the Super Mario World, Super Mario World on Super Nintendo, the one with the different color Yoshis. Yeah, yeah. That's Super Mario World. Yeah. Um, but I guess actually, I mean that or, you know, I mean, I think these Pokemon came out probably 1996. I was probably seven or eight years old. I remember playing, my brother had the red for Christmas. I got the blue and, you know, it was like who can win Get the most Pokemon. You know, who can trade. catch them all? Yeah, who can? And then you have to trade with someone else in the other version because, as I pointed out with Magmar, they're not all available. So I was able to trade and play with my brother. And I mean, I still remember sitting around my aunt's house where we still go for Thanksgiving and Christmas when I was eight, you know, getting yelled at to sit down and eat some goddamn food because I, we were in the other room playing Pokemon the whole time. And I sit here 20 years later and, uh, you know, still playing Pokemon, which I'm not uh, ashamed to admit at all. It's a fun game. It's a, it's a great game. It's classic. It's only for, it's only for the men. It's uh, a <laughs> not everyone has what it takes uh. to, to, to reign supreme in the, in the Kanto region, but, you know, again, like I said, we started out, somebody's got to do it. There's no one else for it but me, so you know I, I take the challenge as it comes. Yeah, I uh, I've owned every Nintendo system from NES on. The only system I haven't owned is the um, the Nintendo Virtual Boy. You remember that? I do. The old Virtual Boy. That was a terrible mistake. I've even owned the Wii U. My brother, my brother had it. I played <laughs> it, but I, I can't say that I owned it, and it didn't suck. Yeah. It was terrible. I remember trying it. Um, what was the old, before GameStop was big, I think it was EB Games. Mm -hmm. Was out, and, and I went to an EB Games and tested it, and I was like, this thing is terrible. I would never buy this. But um, 
I'd say my my most cherished. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because now virtual reality is huge. They're way way ahead of their time. Um, my my most cherished Nintendo memory. So I had an NES, and uh, when I was really young, like five, four or five years old, and I played um, I played Super Mario. I had the Super Mario Duck Hunt combo uh, cartridge, and I remember playing that a lot. But I also had a little game, Batman the Movie, the original Batman from with Michael Keaton. And it was a terrible game. It was a side-scrolling beat 'em up. And there was a kid down the road for me named Ian Aldridge. And I still remember this to this day. We used to trade games, and on one fateful day, I traded Batman for Final Fantasy, and I never gave it back. And that became my long dark trek into also your first theft. You <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he kept he kept coming back like hey uh, no Batman can I have my game I was like hey, I can't find it I don't know where it's at and uh, I had I had that when I was about six years old and I played the hell out of Final Fantasy and I fell in love with it I've been in love with the series ever since and R- RPGs and I haven't thought about this in forever but my mom actually had to hide the Super Nintendo from my dad because he was playing Street Fighter like wh- whenever he was in the house. Yeah. And he couldn't beat Vega, the guy who jumps like on the cage, I yeah. think. Yeah. Right? That's Vega. Yeah. And he couldn't beat him, and it was literally like, you know, uh, like impacting his work playing Street Fighter. So, like, I came home one day to play Super Mario, and the system was gone, and I discovered that it was gone. It was hidden because my father was turning into a Street Fighter addict. So, that's pretty. My my brother used to, when I uh, we hit Street Fighter, I was about eight or it was about eight or nine, and my brother, my older brother Christopher, was like sixteen, seventeen years old, and he would beat my ass in Street Fighter over and over again, and I would get so furious and frustrated and like slam the controller down and like get mad, and then I'd calm down for a second, be like okay, let's play again. He'd be like all right, and then he'd beat me again, and I'd do the same thing, and I would do that for hours. He never, I never beat him, and I just got tired of fighting games. So I just never really get, never really got a big them. So inside this box is another box, but inside that box is the Nintendo Switch, which we will now open up and look at. I know people are going to be pissed, but like, oh, this is a Switch unboxing video. Here's a uh, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild that I bought as well. You guys fucking talked for ten minutes before you brought it out. Get over it. I don't care. 20, 20 Suck minutes, it up. 20 minutes too short. All right, sorry for that uh, technical difficulty. So, the Nintendo Switch. I like the box. I actually like the design. It's very smooth. Let's open this up. <clears throat> All right, so, right on top is the actual Switch console, which is a lot smaller than I thought it would be, I guess in person. It's about the size I thought, but it's not, uh, it's a little heavier than I thought for sure. It's about the size I expected. The screen is, the screen itself is a little, there's maybe, I don't know, a half an inch, three quarters of an inch on either side that is the frame that isn't the screen. I thought that the screen was going to be, would be more of that three quarters of an inch. Um, it's pretty much what I expect, um, expected. The, it is, it is markedly heavier than I thought though. It's, it's not too heavy, but it's definitely heavier than I expected. Yeah. I guess, I don't know if I was really expecting much with, with its weight, but whatever the hell I was expecting, that's definitely heavier. That's it. Oh. On an even table. It works. Okay. Uh, you have your iPhone? I'm gonna yeah. make, I'm gonna, let me see it real quick. I'm going to kind of show everybody. So this is an iPhone 6 Plus, And you can see about the size comparison. It's got about an inch on both the side and the top. And it's probably, it's about two to three times as thick. Thank you. Okay, so that's the console. Here are the controllers. The Joy-Cons. Like bulky box for that thing. It does, though, doesn't it? 
I just should shut on and look like this is the box. I mean, that's just the indent where that was, <coughs> and I don't know what, if anything, is under here. Is Can you ask them? This is the Joy-Con controller. So here's the Joy-Con controller. It actually feels, I thought, I was actually scared because I have some pretty big hands, some gorilla hands here. And I was afraid that this was gonna feel uncomfortable in the hand, but it doesn't feel too bad. No. Not too bad? No, it feels pretty good. Actually, it feels pretty sturdy. And nice, I, nice, nice weight, nice, uh, notice the back, the lip yeah. for, your, for it to rest your finger to get to this appropriately, or yeah. it's a nice design on the back with the lip for your finger. Yeah, I like it. I want to do this really quick. I want to hear this click. That switch click that they have been marketing. So how do I get it off? I think there's a little button that's right here on the back, right under that lip that you were just talking about. And you just push in that and it releases the locking mechanism. That's not too bad for a controller. The buttons are small, um, but I don't think they're so small that they're pretty small. That it's gonna that it would, it would like take me out of the game, you know. Feels comfortable enough. No, I mean in, pro in proportion to this, I mean the buttons are are fine, but I mean they are small. Got it. I guess the whole thing is small, so relatively they're okay. Yeah. So, got a HDMI controller. We got the power cable. The largest power cable in the world. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty, that's a pretty hefty uh, power converter. Especially when you compare it to, and it's USB-C. So, but when you compare it to like the, the PlayStation 1, it's, it's pretty hefty. That reminds me more of like the power brick almost, not as big as like what the Xbox has. So here's one, here's two. These get attached to the controllers. So if you're playing a two player game, you can play a two player game with each separate controller. And then you hold it like this. Like that, which is pretty cool. The whole concept that Nintendo was going for is, is being able to take this one console with this one controller and then be able to play multiplayer with somebody if you want to play, you know, Mario Kart or any other game that's that's got simple controls that you could do so. There's just a little warning, and then here is the the cradle that the switch actually sits in. There's the cradle. And the switch. I guess it just kind of sits in there, that's it. It almost seems like it's got a little bit of a magnet that keeps it in, unless you pull on it. And then all the hookups are in there. Are those magnets? I don't know. That's what it almost seems like it's magnetic. What do you think? and you can look like the bottom piece it actually presses down you see that move yeah I, yeah i see so, it yeah. so it actually kind of presses in yeah yeah it goes to this and then that thing presses down i don't really get 
Why? But, I mean, I think that probably so you could. Tr it, probably is the data transfer. If you turn that upside down, is it falling out? Yeah, yes. it is absolutely. Not meant to be like that. Pretty nice little home. So you, and you you also pre-ordered a switch, right? I did. So what what uh, what games are you excited for? Um, for the uh, Zelda, which Zelda? you have on the table. Yeah. Um, Let's go and open this up. And. Though it's not out now, and I'm assuming it probably will be released around the holidays, um, the uh, Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, the probably Super Smash Brothers. Oh man, Smash I'm gonna, yeah, I'm Smash gonna. Smash Brothers probably my my number one. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna fuck some shit up on that. Interested to see what. This is what the inside of the case looks like. Of Pokemon would look like on this thing. Here's the here are the games. It's basically it almost looks like it's a micro SD card or like a regular SD card. Supposedly these taste terrible, and Nintendo made them taste terrible because they didn't want kids to put them in their mouth. Like it tastes supposedly they got awful, like worse than like putting anything else, any other like like piece of electronic in your mouth. I'm not gonna test it. I'd rather not. It's quite the large case for the chip, but I know it is. It is almost seems like a waste, doesn't it? It does. Wasted resources. I do like the design. Uh, I like the feel of the system so far. I'm excited to get over, get uh, get into it, and start playing it. I think the I think the home station looks pretty sharp. Like that's pretty. I just, it just looks nice. Like my this Game Boy. Like if you're not playing, it's sitting here on the table. Yeah. And anything. I mean, any console. I mean, your. I know that this is handheld, but what other? I mean, your PS3, your PS4, your uh, Xbox of any kind. I mean. Nothing, even though those aren't handheld. I mean, I can't think of another handheld system that has uh, quite as nice of a, a home station as this. So it's already charged. I just turned it right on without hooking it up. This goes right, right in the settings. What Nintendo does always does well, and what I like about them is their like their uh, user interfaces and their menus. Um, they're just very uh, aesthetically pleasing, I guess would be how I see them. But well, everyone, that was a Switch unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if there's anything else that you want to see, obviously uh, leave me comments in the section below. Let me know. I'll be doing more videos on Zelda Breath of the Wild and uh, uploading them as well. This is Greg. We're taking uh, ne next time if majority of, the, of my fans, which obviously already exist, um, you know, would like me to take my shirt off. We'll see. Um, so the next next broadcast may, uh, you know, the, depending on fan demand. It uh, might be done shirtless, um, we'll see. In fact, let's do a vote. Fan demand, who wants to see Geo shirtless next video? Let us know. Or even me shirtless, doesn't matter. We're here to please you. Remember, if you like what you see and you wanna see more, like and subscribe. This is Greg with Geo, and we're out.